What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins channel. My subject today is about part two on how to get any woman you want guaranteed. The reason why I'm making this video is to share with those who want to know or those who already know and just want to see do I really know. Either way, oh, and a bonus to keep you updated on part one about the one. Got to share with you what happened. Let's get started. All right. When I made the, uh, the first video, right, I went back in the Starbucks and sure enough, she was still there. So it, uh, Starbucks is always crowded. People are everywhere. So I was trying to find somewhere to sit down. So I went and sat on the other side where she was at. And um, about 30 minutes had went by and I came outside to get my bike. And sure enough, she was sitting in her car waiting for me to come out. And what she did when she saw me, she got out of the car and looked at me like, yeah, it's on because you don't ignore me like that. And I kind of looked and blew her off. Now, <clears throat> this is how you this is how you play it, fellas. OK, now she's going to come back up there. And um, usually how I do it. When a woman is that attractive, see, I had to look at it this way. I said, well, a woman that attractive, it's probably boring to her that she's always constantly getting hit on. She know all the pickup lines. She already know what's going to come out of a guy's mouth as soon as he try to walk up on her or if he see her from across the room. So in a way, they're kind of looking for something different to keep their attention so they won't get bored and the principles that i share with you in the first video and in this video keeps them coming back for more now i, I looked at it and i blew her off i'm like yeah whatever you know see what that does when you push a woman away especially a woman of that caliber women always want what they can't have plus it's in a woman's nature to go after something when they get pushed away from it now, the fact that I'm like, OK, you're upset because your ego is bruised. It was self-inflicted because you see that I was honestly just trying to be genuine to save you some time. Of going into that restroom and a plumber was in there, but now, you know, you, you, OK, that part was cool, but you look stupid now. You're upset, uh, even though you're going to tell me no. If I tried to talk to you, but the fact that I didn't, that's pissing you off. Your ego is all messed up and you feel stupid. So you want to try to pay me back. Now, fellas, that's when you come in with your style of continuing to reel her in. And this can go a lot of ways. Here's a few ways to do it. Now, she's going to come back. because She made it clear when she got out of her car so that I could see her. Like, yeah, remember me? I'm like, yeah, I blew her off. I went, yeah, whatever. I went on. See, look. See, that's going to really make her come back up there for at least the next three days. And when I see her again, um, I'll behave like i never seen her before. And how do you usually do it? This is how the other one did. It stalked me for about five months. Uh, usually how they do it, they'll come over in your area and sit next to you. Yeah, excuse me, someone sat here, and before you could say yes or no, they're going to sit out. Now you remember me, motherfucker. Whatever. Yeah. And um, I just look at him going back to what I'm doing. You know, look, look slightly annoyed. Like, God, here's it. Should we, you know, can I ask you a question? Stop with your finger in your book. Uh, yeah, can you make it quick? Excuse me? Oh, can you make it quick? Uh, you're disturbing me. You know, why are you such an asshole? Uh, I don't recall. Look. Don't try to play me like I'm stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm, I, don't, I don't really know you, but going by, oh, just cut the bullshit. Now, look, I understand that you tried to be nice and look out for me and save me some time, but you don't got to be an asshole about it because I didn't pick up on it. I'm like, oh, that's in your mind. Um, and then you say, are you done? And even if they turn around and say, you go right back to your book anyway. See, that's going <laughs> to grab you in that hours. You're like, you know what? I didn't know you was into domestic violence. I said, you know, we could never be together because you're violent. You know, and I, I I, don't, you know, 
I don't indulge in things like, you know, that with people that I don't know. She's going to be, you know, you're, you know, I'm about to go. I'm like, and it's up to you to say, Haha, I'm just playing. You can say here. Or if you want to really, really piss her off, it's okay. Bye. And going back to what you're doing and while she's talking to you, get up and walk away from her. Oh, that's it. She's going to come after you. Because women do not like to be pushed away. And it's only, it's their nature to go after something that's pushed them away. And I'm like, well, I got to go. Or if she turn around and she might bring her friends in. Now, I know I'm kind of bouncing around a little bit, but she might bring her friend with her, you see, and he may try. she may try to crack a joke on you out of, you know, sly revenge to make you the butt of the joke, you know, in front of her, you know, girlfriend, you know, she show you because her girlfriend's like, girl, what's wrong? What guy has pissed you off? You've been in a real fickle mood, you know, you're, you're biting off everybody's head. Well, it's this guy, you know, it's a Starbucks. Now, let me guess, girl. Now, I'll be honest. You know, we sisters. You know, he didn't try to talk to you. You know, that's the reason. But I, and he didn't try afterwards. No, he didn't. Oh, you're going to pay him back over, girl. But count me in. Because women like skank. They love drama. You know, even if it's self-inflicted, they still want to try to cut you in your balls. How do I know? I go through it all the time. So I'm looking forward to this. And, uh, you know, I, 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 might, I, I, I might take your phone number. Uh, I'm still going to give a hard time. See, the more you give a woman like that a psychological hard time, you know, you don't have to overdo it. Actually, less is more, you know, just like how the whole thing started. I've, I've done this before, you know, so you get better at your craft. So when I see her again, of course, you bring her friend in. I already know the game. I already know, like Ice Cube said, I know the game, so I watch it unfold. You know, sit down. She's gonna glare. She's doing all like this. What you looking at? I'm like, I was wondering the same thing. Don't get popped in your mouth. I'm like, for you to be a stranger, you sure are very violent. And as soon as she turned around, start talking, take the newspaper up and put it up to block her face out. Oh, she's gonna get up, and, you know, grab the newspaper. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what are you doing? Are you okay? You're not, you're not taking somebody else's prescription, are you? She's gonna be. Does it look like it? You know, that's when that's when they come out with the vice. Now, mind you. She went from not saying anything, anything to me to all up in my face, sitting down this close to me. See what I'm saying? Oh, it's just a matter of time for it goes to the next level. And fellas, at that point, it's up to you. Just like I said, if she wants to crack a joke on you, try to make you the butt of her jokes in front of her friend, show that she's not bothered by the bruise eagle, but her girlfriend ain't stupid. You know, they crack a little joke. Do, do this. <laughs> Oof. Uh, excuse me, I don't mean to be rude, but whatever you do, keep your day job. I understand you're trying to be a comedian, but you know, start out part time. Uh, you know what? Let me look up online. There's a few little, you know, links I can give you for you to take some classes to be, you know, hilarious because you need some improvement. By that time, she already got up and came over to you. Oh, so you just you just missed the smart ass again today. And I'm like, you know what? What's this? Hey, what's your name? And you introduce yourself, and she tells you her name. You introduce yourself, and uh, she's gonna write that phone number down. You know, call me. You need to talk. Yeah, tell me more about these classes. And before you know it, fellas, you know your way. You got her. How do I know? <laughs> I do it all the time, and it works. <laughs> so tune in for part three on how to get any woman you want. Guarantee I'm gonna keep you abreast on how it's all going. Cause like I said, she got out of the car to make sure I seen her, and she shot me that look like, you know what? I'm coming back up here. We, I ain't done with you. This ain't over. I'm going to get you. I'm like, all right, whatever. So, again, you know, I, I just behave like she's uh, nobody. You know, not being rude or raising my voice or using any type of profanity or anything. No, man. All you have to do is go, mm, yeah, yeah, and go right back to what you're doing. You know, I'm like, well, number one, I was just trying to stop you from going in the bathroom. You know, you ever see that movie on Purple Ring? You know, when Prince deliberately made Apollonia humiliate herself in the lake of Minnetonka, may he rest in peace. He said, hey, I was trying to warn you, you know. <laughs> She said, I look pretty stupid in there. He said, yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that water. You know what I'm saying? I said, I'm not messing with you. That, that movie. She's like, you know what? Just Here's my number. Just call. We can talk more about it. And Mr. Smarty Pants and oh, the treat that you were in for. <laughs> so, uh, fellas, don't you go anywhere.